and, and, and yeah, yeah, he's going to do it. And it's just, like I said, it's the thing is that you got to go and do it. Mr. Garcia, 420. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. They want to invite me to the bathrooms and all kind of shit. Yeah. To me. So, let's go to the bathroom. I'm going to talk to the bathroom for a minute. We heard that. We saw that. What, what was that conversation like? Man, I don't know. Listen, but to you, that, that that's like saying to a woman, you know, give me a second. Me and him is going to the bathroom together. That just mm -hmm, don't make sense. Mm -hmm. You're going to get mad. You, well, you're going to get out where you get mad at mm -hmm. if, that, if it's that serious. So, um, you know, I, like I said, everything is 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 extremely competitive. I think both camps and teams and us, we've said things back to them in response to what well, they they've said, said to, to you, us. Right. Because I have the the youngest undisputed champion you in do. history, two division, the only man to cross the pond and get the belt, cross back upon, cross back across the pond and defend. Um, you know, we broke down all narratives. The reason why that I say that this fight is a very important fight and it's a real fight is because it's for the WBC World Lightweight title. Mm -hmm. um, when, when I was talking about the other fight being with Ryan Garcia and being an exhibition, I said, well, anytime you take a weight and you add or subtract and you add all these other variables, then it becomes an exhibition and not a, a sanctioned world title fight. Wow. I, I, I just remember uh, Ryan said he was going to make you throw that towel in, uh -huh. you know, and I'm just trying to understand uh, uh, he going to have to keep that same energy. I think that was a little bit before, you know, everything was signed and sealed. Now what? it's time to put up a shut up. Well, like everybody does, they say what they I should be doing. What you're going to have to be doing is concentrating on Devin like every 31 of the other opponents wasn't able to do when he start tattooing on your face. That's what you're going to have to concentrate on because the one thing about boxing that I tell all the parents around the world is prepare your son and no matter when on that night, it's them against their opponent, not mm -hmm. against the promoter, the broadcaster, the fans, nothing will save them. Keep putting in that work. Wow. I so thought that the um, Tank fight would have came before the Garcia fight because I remember the last time when he fight Lomachenko. Yeah. No, Tank never wanted to fight Lomachenko. No, 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 no. when Devin. Devin. No, I'm just kidding. But. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to fight him. Huh? No, he didn't want to fight him. Wow. Tank ain't want to fight nobody, Queen, and you know that. And Then listen. Then why did he jump up in the, in, in the ring? No, that was Shakur. That was, Shakur Stevens. That okay. Was, that, was Tank's, that was one of Tank's uh, bodyguards, one of his minions. <laughs> yeah. And that was that was Shakur. <laughs> yeah, because he was blocking, and they all block. They get together, and they block at different times right. and say different things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, like he didn't say it to his face. He jumped, he like, waited till he left the ring to say it. Yeah, it's like a Bruce Lee karate flick with Dev mm -hmm. at the bottom and him having to work through all these narratives to get to the top. Right. You know what I mean? And it's one after another after another. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's the crazy part because Devin is young and he's getting stronger and stronger. He's moving. He's getting his each fight is progressively getting better and better. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I love that man. And I when I see that last that last fight reach that that fight was man that was mm. brutal. I wanted to be there so bad. I that would been my. Right. I, I had already signed me and Black Nam at the last minute. I didn't get to come. But boy, let me tell you, y'all did well we, up there. Yes, sir, King. We told him. We told him catch Devin now, because he's only getting better. And I'm only getting more handsome and smiling more <laughs> and smiling more and being more happy about representing the best fighter in boxing. Wow. Most skilled fighter in boxing. The boxer, the fighter that's giving you the fights uh, when you want them. Wow. I seen you standing there and I was like, man, when, when, the, when, the, when the standoff and, and, and he was there and this big bodyguard dude was standing there. Mm -hmm. But you didn't, you, you know, you was not shook at all. Straight focus. Not what was that like being all. in the midst of this whole situation? It was chaotic. It felt like something was going to happen any moment when Ryan Garcia stepped, to, you know, walked up like that, or when he came like he wanted to smoke. Well, that's the one thing that that God gives us is that innate thing to be a father. And and there are times that I don't believe that a mountain can move me when I'm standing in in the gap for my son. That's you know what I mean. Yes, sir. And um and that's just the way that I operate. You know what I mean. Man, and other situations, you know what I mean. You might have a case of fear, but when it comes to being a dad and representing for your kid, there's nothing that's going to move me out the way when he's moving in the right direction. That's hard, man. And the thing I gotta I gotta just say, man, is I commend you on that that, that father something else, man. How do you 
how do you deal with them rounds and going around? And what's your, I, one thing I wanted to ask you, let me go here for a second while I got it on my mind. From the jump, was you always staged to be a trainer or was this just something you took on when your son decided he was going to be boxing? Well, that's those many hours and hours and hours of just just kind of reviewing the tapes and watching him yeah. and his preparation. And then we would pick another coach to learn something more so we didn't have a sticking point. And then we kind of just developed this Haney style of fighting um, after, like like I always said, working under the Floyd Mayweather seniors, mm -hmm. yeah, Roger yeah, Mayweather. Yeah, 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 I remember that. And, you know, Eddie Mustafa's. And it's a, uh, Coach Billy Giles from New York who, who had Hector Camacho. So this, this style that we have has been developed over quite some time from taking from the baddest dudes in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know what I always say to that guy to say, who was Bill Haney? I said, well, who's the lame that taught him the game and where did he learn to play? <laughs> <laughs> huh? That's hard, man. I like that. You, what you got? What you wow. got? So, okay, because I'm learning, because as from the last time I, we interviewed you, it's like I'm just learning all about this boxing world and yes. it's been amazing. But um, stepping up in ranks, because you have to step up in ranks and step up in weight class to be able to fight other fighters. Uh -huh. What is um, his ultimate goal? Like, what weight class is... Do you uh, well, did he finish that? To? Well, right, right now, Queen, when you're when you're smack dab in it, you can only look at that next fight. That okay. next fight with Ryan Garcia means okay. so much to both Devin, his brand, the legacy of, of him as a fighter, mm -hmm. and you can't overlook him. Mm -hmm. Ryan is coming in hungry and determined mm -hmm. at 140 with a vicious left hook. Queen, you ain't seen his left hook. Ooh. <laughs> But if you're expecting Ooh. that and you know that he has a vicious left hook, there are defenses that you practice to know to stay away from it. Am well, I correct? Absolutely. But uh, heavy is the head that wears the crown. It's easy to go and say you're going to do it, but you got to do it under the lights. And we've seen so many times that the fighters that are supposed to do things were up. To, the apple cart got upset by guys that came determined. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, it's a. Uh, it's nothing to take lightly. You know, I hope that everyone comes out and flip oh, 20 yeah. and watch and see that, you know to. what I mean? Yeah, and, and, and yeah, yeah, he's going to do it. And it's just, like I said, it's the thing is that you got to go and do it. Mr. Garcia, 420. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.